Agatha has been a great addition to our school. She's conscientious. That's right. Agatha is um, one of the most hardworking, kindest, you know, be best people I I've ever met. Agatha is kind. She's sweet. She's down to earth. And she's caring. And, and she's friendly. She brings a, a great world view and uh, a good perspective on everything. She's intelligent. She's always there when you need to talk with her. Um, I mean, she's, she, she's one of those people who like, you can really trust in, you know, to get something done. Yes, very friendly. And, and hard working. Oh yeah, hard working. But most of all, she's faithful. She's athletic. She's a good woman of Christ. But um, what really hits me is that she has a real legitimate concern for people and everybody she meets. Um, she, you know, walk by in the hallway, she'll ask them as simple as, hey, are you doing okay today? Um, she's a very diligent student, always hardworking. She has been uh, extremely devoted to the school and involved, raising lots of money for the senior class this year. That's true, she is faithful. That's why we love Agatha. She really looks after people and I, you know, it's it's really it's going to be really sad to see her go, but um, she has definitely influenced uh, uh, my life and character in many ways, as well as other people at Pikes Peak. Just an all-around uh, great person, very uh, mature, respected by her her peers and and teachers, and so we'll miss her next year. And the best of luck to her. Allison is a wonderful young lady. She's incredibly responsible. She's Ellie is one of the hardest working students I've ever had. She refuses to quit. Allie is my hero in lots of ways. Allie is something else entirely. Allie's an amazing person. She's always somebody that you can talk to. And one we've always been able to rely on. And I see incredible things in Allie's future. If I ever needed something done for any reason, I wouldn't trust anyone else in the entire school other than her. She, I mean, she's that person that you could always trust to talk to. Always just um, willing to help and has a smile on her face. She is the utmost trusting person I have ever met, and she's so honest. Ali always has an interesting take on the world. She's always willing to see the humor in a situation, even if it's a tough time. Sure, she's someone that other students could depend on, and she she takes care of every single friend she's ever had, and cares about each and everything that goes on in their lives. Ali is a great leader. Um, like academically, I can look up to her. She's someone who, if I'm wondering about a class or how to do something, I can say, hey, you know, Allie, how do I do this? If I need somebody to rely on, uh, she's someone She's someone to go to. And she just has a smile that lights up the room. You can't help but notice it when she's smiling and when she finds something fun. There isn't a single day that goes by where I regret having her as a friend because of how important she is as a person. Young lady with a lot of love and a lot of excitement for the good things that have been going on at PPC. Ali is incredibly intelligent. She has a beautiful gift from God and I'm really anxious and looking forward to and excited to see what she uses with that gift in the future. Uh, she's someone who will come to you and make sure you're doing okay, so uh, she's definitely someone that everybody, uh, teachers and students, will miss at Pikes Peak. If there's one thing that's great about her, is she tells some of the most hilarious stories I've ever heard. Allie is a wonderful leader. She doesn't ask anybody to do something she wouldn't do herself, and she's more than willing to chip in whenever she needs to and whenever there's a need. And I am excited to see what she's going to do in the future. So Hannah is, she's strong-willed. Hannah is very bubbly. Hannah is super fun to talk to. Hannah Kursky is funny. I'm very passionate about what she does. Really good listener uh, when you need to talk to someone. She's resourceful. Talkative. She's very sweet and kind. 
and uh, she knows a lot about horses, and she's capable. Uh, she's caring. And she's a good listener as well. She's energetic. She and she's always smiling. She just reminds me of like having fun and being with my friends. And she cleans up my day. Izzy has a very positive attitude on life, so I really enjoy being around her. Izzy is hardworking. Izzy's funny. She's... Izzy is the most creative and influential person I know. Okay, so I think Izzy is very talented in her skills with singing and acting. She has a great personality. She's never been somebody other than who she's not. It's crazy. She can make anything awkward. And I really appreciate that. She... She's very outgoing and she's really exciting to hang around with. She's very passionate. She's a very pretty girl on the inside and out. Um, she can lighten up a mood. Uh, she's very talented musically. Um, she's very perceptive. I have her for stats and she's always really quick to recognize problems and recognize solutions and figure out who the phonies are. Around with because she knows what she's talking about. And she can make a party ten times more. And she's very school spirited and caring. Um, she has a unique outlook on life. It's fun to be around her because she always brings up really interesting things like animal shredder videos or bot fly videos, which is extremely exciting to be around and watch. Never quick to argue or judge. And finally, I really enjoy being around her because uh, she's very talented. She has a beautiful voice. Uh, she's very fun to watch in drama, and my favorite part is ridiculous. Alex is a really nice guy. He's Alex is an interesting person to talk to because it seems like you never learn enough about Alex. Alex is also a good three-point shooter. Alex is kind. He's smart. He's intelligent, he's athletic. He's always a gentleman and he's just really sweet. He's a good catcher, also a good leader. I mean, no matter how hard you try, you really can't know enough about how great this guy can really be. He's a great basketball player, um, he's a great brother. A good leader and he's always willing to help somebody out. Sometimes I wonder to myself, can Alex really be an amazing guy on the court and on the field and then come back and be such a kind-hearted gentleman to everyone around him? He's kind, and he's the best brother anyone could ask for. I mean, sure, some people make fun of how short he is, but they're really just jealous of the fact that they can't shoot a ball or throw a ball with such skill and at the same time come back and respect every single person they see no matter what happens that day. Mm. He's very uh, active in the school and a uh, hard worker. Maybe twice and in that time he managed to cool off in maybe five seconds. That is the kind of thing that I really aspire to as in a person, for forgiveness and love to other people. And that's amazing to me. Okay, Calvin is um, kind of quiet, but he seems really nice. Uh, Calvin, you know, I've, he's been an acquaintance for a long time. I've known him since, like, preschool, kindergarten -ish. Calvin can only be described as... Incredibly interesting. Uh, someone I would love to spend most of my time with because he's just, he's so much fun to hang out with and playing games like Magic during study hall is just something that I will never forget from high school. Calvin is an exceptional friend. Uh, because it's something that really, I guess, made me enjoy my friends for who they are and not judge them.
I mean, he plays video games that I play. How awesome is that? That's amazing. He has clearly amazing tastes in video games. He's kind and a nice guy. Time, I've known him since like preschool, kindergarten-ish, and he's always been around, but he's, you know, he's very, he's very quiet, but he is a guy I, you know, everybody should really get to know, you know. Someone who, if you really, really want to talk to him, you have to talk to him. He's not one to just spark up a random in, a conversation. More like, he lets you decide when to talk. And he has cool t-shirts. He's a nice guy. I, uh, I look up to him. Alvin's probably one of my best friends, even though we don't talk much anymore. He's still someone I know I can go to if I needed anything. If you wanted to talk to him, he's a really great listener. And at the same time, he has some very interesting comments that actually pertain and aren't completely random. You know, even on Facebook or in the hallways, they see some of the art that he likes to do, and you get a sense of all the creativity that he's thing. And so, yeah, he's a he's a cool guy to get to know, and we'll really miss him. He's a he's a great guy. He's one of the best seniors I know. Above all else, the guy is just really nice and kind, and that's something that we really need more of in today's society. Daniel Barber is, um, I, man, I've, I've seen him and known him around the school since I was in, you know, small elementary school. Um, Daniel Barber is probably one of the coolest people I know. He's a great guy. He's pretty quiet, but, uh, He's always there to talk if you need him. Daniel is very committed. He will do whatever it takes to get to where he wants. What up, guys? So, hey, I just want to say a couple words about Daniel. He taught me how to shoot a basketball without screwing myself up. And uh, actually, I actually made a basket for once. That's impressive. He's the doer. You know, he's, he's an all-around nice guy. He's... He's so quiet, you know? I wish I wish he'd come out of his box a little bit because he's really a great guy to get to know. He's a great basketball player. And he's a great role model for what uh, just a, a, most of the underclassmen should be uh, as a senior. The go-getter. He's the, he's the one we need more of in this world. He is a really cool guy. He's always being a great example for us as underclassmen. And I would just like to say thank you so much, Daniel for everything that you do, or we're going to miss you, buddy. Daniel Barber's a good leader, and I feel as if he were to take a career in uh, counseling or leadership, any role somewhere in there, he'd do very well because he, he's nice and he really knows what he's talking about. Having meteorology class with him last semester, and it's awesome to see his intellect, you know, and the, the thoughts that he has on uh, so many stuff, and then, you know, walking by in the hallway, you know, you know, he's someone who I feel comfortable saying hi to, and um, he, you know, he, he definitely makes you feel comfortable as well. So def definitely a great guy to get to know, and uh, he's, he's a good part of Pikes Peak. Josh Tracy, he's not only one of the most intellectual people I know. Josh Tracy's a really great guy. He's Josh is a really good dancer. Josh Tracy is funny. I think Josh Tracy is a very smart person. Josh um, was my captain on the mattress team and hoping to li live the legacy on. I'm glad that you were able to get your three state championships, by the way. But if you really listen to what he has to say, like theologically, you know, and stuff, and you know, really, like really deep down, he has a lot of solid points. He's so funny and he's an amazing dancer as we all know. He's very intelligent with almost everything. Tall, blonde. Um, he's really smart. Um, I went to prom with him so um, he's a nice kid. Great, he's a great leader. Um, he's got a positive and strong motivation and will to succeed in everything that he does. He's very nice to everyone around him, and he is very humble to everyone around him. And he's um, just always got a smile, and he's a really funny dude. He's the Dark Overlord. <laughs> dark Overlord. And Smartest person I know. 
and the smartest person Caleb knows. He um, is very selfless and, and he seems very godly and he also has a very funny personality. And um, he's just all around great person, he's funny, yeah. He's a positive role model to the underclassmen and he's got, he's great at encouraging, encouraging you when you're feeling down about it and he's got amazing dance skills, unrivaled by everyone. A relationship uh, with um, with Christ, and you can you can definitely see that in um, you know how deep of a thinker he is, and the solid moral ground that he bases everything uh, he does off of. Kyler is someone that I really look up to as a person of information and learning, and trying to be really good at it. When I see Kyler, I think of a guy, uh, you know, a guy to look up to. Kyler is loyal. I think Kyler is very smart. Kyler is amazing. Uh, patriotic. I really want to know something. I turn to a few people, but Kyler is definitely one of them because he's just so well knowledge of usually whatever I'm asking. He has a lot of stature in the hallways. He's one of those guys who, man, he's, he's strong, he's intelligent. But Kyler is a good friend. Uh, a very good leader. And he's very intelligible military-wise. Willing to help others out, polite and intelligent. Science, sometimes. But if I really want to know something like a law or military or anything like that, Kyler's the number one guy I turn to before anyone else. Mm, you know, and you know, he's, he, has, he has a pretty good sense of humor. He's a hard worker. Uh, he gives good advice. Um, He's an encouraging person, and he is also uh, something else. Yes. And he is very humble, and I like to rub his head. Um, you know, when, you know, I I don't get to talk with him that much, but when I do, you know, it's usually just a small, fun conversation, you know, and always something uh, intellectual going on in his head. So really thankful to know him. Kyler's the kind of guy who really does something because he loves it. And he's mentioned that many times, that he's doing what he wants to do for the future because he loves what he's doing. And that kind of determination is really rare in someone. Pere is very possibly the most uh, unique senior that I've gotten to know. For meeting him as a freshman and me going, he is one determined kind of guy. Pere, he's always there when you need to talk with him. Uh, I think Alex Pere is very smart and intelligent. Pere is super funny, and he's a really good listener. He's so incredibly competitive to win, but at the same time, he's one of the best sports to show sportsmanship. It's fun to be around him. Man, I, I look forward, you know, in cross country, especially cross country, you know, and gotten to know him in track a little better as well. He's very good athletic wise and he's very encouraging at track. He knows more about history than anyone I've ever met. And he's athletic and he's always there when you need like encouragement. Just uh, being able to run with him, to be in match wits with him, it's it's a joy. Someone who tries incredibly hard to either do the right thing or be the best at what he can do. And when he puts those th two things together, he's one of the nicest guys you could ever talk to. And you can always go to him if you need to talk or just whatever like you need. Always, is, uh, he makes my day when he encourages me at track. He's always there to talk to, and he's always there when you like to listen. Works so hard, and it pays off in so many ways. And he he has that skill set that you just that you admire, and something that I you know, I I could never be like Prey. He's 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 one of a kind, and I really I really enjoy being out of being around him. I know other people do too. So. And he's also very nice to everyone around him. So, yep, that's Prey. In every school, there's one kind of guy who comes into a classroom and talks and straight up annoys everyone. 
and there are very few students who actually like him. Robert is a really nice and sweet guy. And when we finally got rid of that guy, we got Robert, which could have been the greatest trade we've ever had in our entire lives. Robert has uh, become pretty much a brother. Robert is a creature, I guess is what I would say. Robert is kind. Um, when I first came into high school, it was like, you know, we were kind of right here, and then we just gotten, like, uh, closer as brothers in Christ. Robert is a strong character who is one of the kindest people and nicest guys, and at the same time, funny, comical reliefs in the entire school. He's always caring, and, um, he's funny. He has a great relationship with the Lord. I usually feel down. For some reason, Robert's around, and thankfully he's around too. Because if anyone is ever down, he pulls out his Smeagol voice, and everyone's ablaze with laughter. He draws people in with the way he talks about God. Um, he just is willing to help, and he's always got a great attitude and a great smile. No, Proverbs that says, guy of many companions will fall, but... There is a friend who sticks closer than a brother, than, you know, and I think that's him. So he's, he's a person that I can look up to spiritually and emotionally and go to if I'm having any trouble with anything at all. And, and he's a great basketball player. He's a really funny guy, and doing the play with him was awesome. There's one thing that I've always hoped Robert knows, is there isn't a single person at the school who's laughing at him. They're laughing with him, and every single laugh is a thank you, Robert, for making our day a little better. He's hilarious. He also is uh, very caring. Really thankful to have him. He's been an encouragement. You know, he's funny and someone that I could always look forward to welcoming me and just talking to you about anything and everything. So I'll, I'll miss him really a lot. It'll be hard without. Seth is a really kind-hearted kind of guy who Seth is really good at sports and Seth is a good three-point. He's a good guy. Seth is nice, funny. Very uh looks a lot like me. So, you know, both very attractive. Good kind of guy who does his best to be that kind-hearted guy. What's truly amazing about Seth is that he has a voice for any kind of reporting you ever need in anything. He knows what he's doing and he works really hard. He's really good at basketball. Uh, really athletic and he's super good at basketball. Uh, He's really smart and funny. Athletic. Very good three-point shot. That's athletic. Um, Seth is just really good at sports. I've apparently been playing baseball with him since I was really little. On top of his voice, Seth has a way with sports. He's a good friend. He has lots of friends. He looks really nice with his dress. Yeah, and um, he's really smart, he's clever, intelligent, responsible, and, always late to and he's, always late to school. he's always very late to school. time management, has very good time management skills. Good leader, and um, fun to be around. Squishy is fun. Squishy is funny, smart. Squishy is super funny, and uh, he's really smart and really nice. Squishy is, quite frankly, Daniel Weisel. Okay, Squishy is kind. He's a great listener. He's always there when you need to talk with him. Um, man of God. And happy and encouraging and musical. Um... He's good at sports, he's really good at basketball, and uh, he has lots of friends, he's a really good friend, so. Really a man of both valor, honor, and respect. And he's always there to offer a smile to bring joy to your day. 
crooner and also a good singer. And awesome. From experience, I know that he's an incredibly good man and wouldn't hesitate to help anyone in need, especially if they ask for his name. Victor is a very strong leader. I think he has great, he has great, he has good motivation. Victor, he's kind, he's passionate. Victor is a great leader. Uh, he was the president for student council and he did a really good job with that. Uh, Victor's a really nice guy. He's a very good leader. Victor is probably got the best attitude of anyone at the school. He's always got his chin up and he's a hard worker and he goes above and beyond the call of duty. And at first you might think he's a quiet guy, but if you get to know him, you know that he has a great sense of humor. He's smart, he's respectful and responsible. He's a great leader. He's determined in everything that he does. And he's always organized and always just um, looking for the best in everybody. And He can talk to anyone without messing up and uh, just he can have conversations and he can keep the conversation going for a long time. And he's really good to talk to about the military and any any career path in like just governments and military especially because he his dad himself is in the military and so he knows what he's talking about and he can really help with that and, and it's good to have conversations with he's also one of the most principled guys I know and he has like he always displays like, like a really strong sense of sportsmanship in his, in his athletics and all around good guy and he's a good person just he does well. <laughs> Someone awesome, and because because he's got that military background, he's always got a good attitude and also good leadership role, especially on like the baseball field. He 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 can take, he can really influence the team. Zach Stickle is uh, really good with cars. I've heard Zach Stickle is a good friend. Okay, Zach is. Cool and quiet. Zick Stickle is an encouragement to everyone that he meets. Um. And he like knows everything about trucks that could possibly be known. And a gentleman and nice. Um, I remember back all the way in seventh grade basketball and like I wasn't very good, but he even no matter what the outcome was of the game, he would always be like a positive encouragement. And he's a gentleman to everyone. Of a redneck. Has a nice truck, has an awesome beard. Uh, he's really good at basketball and he's super fun to hang out with and talk to and he's super funny. Nice and has a cool truck. He has a hard work ethic and he's got a good motivation in everything he does. And that beard though. Really good listener uh, when you need to talk to someone. And, uh, and he knows how to make you laugh when you don't want to. He's servant's heart and he's great at offering encouragement to everyone. He's a hard worker and he always has a positive frame, frame of mind about everyone that he meets. What is up PPCS seniors? You may notice that I am standing in a closet right now. Now I am standing in here because I want to talk to you about potatoes. Now I heard that one of you who shall not be named Use this pickup line on a girl. If you were a potato, you'd be a really good potato. Good stuff, right? Now, how does this apply to you guys? Well, you see, you guys are actually just like potatoes. You see, people think potatoes are all the same. They all get eaten, they're just food, they're just potatoes. But actually, potatoes are all unique. Some are bigger, some are smaller, some have individual bumps and grooves in them. Some get fried, some get mashed, some get cut up into little pieces, some get boiled. In the same way, you guys are all unique. You're just like potatoes. You all have your individual personality traits. You all have different strengths, your different weaknesses. My biggest challenge to you, and it's as much a challenge to you as it is to myself, is that you don't get so caught up in getting to the point where you try to be like everyone else. You're your own unique potato. 
and be that potato. Don't live to please other people. Don't live to conform to some kind of mold people have set for you. Be unique, be yourself, and above all else, live for God, live for Him, live for what He has set before you. I want to leave you guys with a Bible verse, and it's one that's resonated very well with me over the past couple of years. And it's Psalm 25, 1-5, and it says, In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Be your own unique potato, and dare to be different. Have a good day, everybody. I wish you all the best as you move on to this new chapter of your lives.